Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I want to talk real quickly and compare the new Sony player, okay, which I've been enjoying for quite a while now. I made several videos recently about this. And also, a player which I've enjoyed a lot in the past and continue to enjoy, which is the Ritzy player, okay? Um, both of these are high definition music players and they both have some cool things to offer. Now, the two things, let me just go over, they are different in price. So I'm just not really comparing like apples to apples or oranges to oranges or whatever. Um, they are two different price points. The Sony player goes for about $350, okay? So keep that in mind that the Ritz U player is about 100 bucks, okay? So it's actually, you know, about one third or at least one half the price of the Sony player. I will have links for these players in the description down below so you can check them out. Now, after using this for a couple weeks now, um, I have to say I really love the interface, okay? So the sound quality on both these players, just sound quality wise, they're both excellent, okay? Um, there is a few advantages. The sound quality on the Sony, I think, does give you more options, okay? Uh, that the other player does not give you. Um, this player does give you an EQ. This player gives you an EQ as well. But where things change is, um, well, besides the awesome screensaver, which I still am enjoying. I'm real mesmerized by this cassette screensaver, which actually changes the name on the cassette as you listen to songs. But um, this does have more different options. You know, you have clear audio. Um, you have a vinyl processor that makes it sound like a vinyl record. It gives it a nice warm feeling, you know. Um, it does have normalizer, which I believe this does have. This does have EQ, and there is some normalization as far as volumes go. There is a way you can do that. Um, DC phase, um, this is only on the Sony one. It's not on there um, to give it more of a tube amp feel. Um, the DSEE um, is only on the Sony one. Um, the EQ is on both of them, okay? And then uh, it goes back to clear audio. So really, you're paying for more sound options on both players. Now, both players sound excellent. If I was to say one player or the other, like just to handle this player, I love the way this one comes with the case. That's just like a nice little touch, which I really do enjoy. And I wish the Sony one here, I wish this came with a case. It really should for the price. You know, you think they could give you a cheap case or something. You know, this case is nothing huge. It's not super expensive. It's magnetic. It's uh, like fake leather, you know. But it's nice, you know, and I like the fact they gave it. The interface on this is really high-tech and cool-looking, too. So there's really nothing wrong. This does display as far as the, you know, the sound quality, um, you know, what type of file it is. It has a lot of great information on there, you know. Um, but it doesn't give you a screensaver representation of the quality. Like, this is a masterwork, and you can see it's on a metal master tape. It switched to a different quality of tape because of the quality of the music file. And I like that. That's just an easy way of looking at the music files, and it really helps you make your want to have your collection in the best sound quality possible. Because there is a difference. There really is. Like, if you listen to, you know, a basic mp3 file you know um or if you listen to a flac file on here or on here you know a high definition music file either of these players you're going to notice a difference so it really encourages you to try and get the best quality plays that you can get and the fact this has this really uh, in your face representation of the quality of the music really encourages me to work harder to try and get all my files to be the highest quality possible. This here does tell you what it is, but and it's cool looking, it really is, and does have all lots of useful information in a great format, um, but it doesn't really encourage me the way that this simple display encourages me to actually have the best quality file possible. Um, both of them use headphones, you know, both of them have a lot of features which are very similar, you know. Um, this has one headphone jack, you know, it doesn't have like a balance in a 3.5, this is the same exact way. So they're very similar as far as that goes. And other buttons are exactly the same for the most part. They're both on the, sp the spine, you know, so it's very easy to use the buttons. Um, I think that this one here is a little harder and with the volume, and this, this still bugs me. If you look at my original videos on this player, I like this player a lot, but one thing which I talked negatively about from the very beginning was I love the case, but I don't like the way the case, this metal part right here, which appears to be removable actually, but I wouldn't do it. Um, it. It's hard to reach kind of. You can get your finger in there, you can turn it, but it's just a little extra work, especially sometimes pushing, like turning it this direction. You can feel the tactile feedback, which is nice. It's a nice dial for sure, but this part right here, this little metal 
edge it makes it a little hard to spin you really feel like you have to push in deep and dig and that is kind of a negative to me you know um, I'd say they're both pretty equal in volume um, this one here the Sony one is a little bit easier to use title and services on although both can technically connect to the internet um, so I guess they're kind of similar in that way now ultimately which one would I prefer the sound on they both sound good but the Sony has a little edge as far as the different types of EQ and different ways you can maximize your sound to your liking this one sounds great but it doesn't quite have as many features bells and whistles as the Sony okay so the Sony wins in that case now as far as usability they're both extremely usable they both they both sound great they really do but if I was to pick just one I would pick the Sony because of those extra features that really help you customize your sound um, and it, again it's not really comparing apples to apples because this is a lot less expensive so if you love music you want good quality music but you don't want to spend three hundred fifty dollars this one might be the choice for you actually so keep that in mind too okay um, if you have any particular questions about either unit, let me know in the comments below. And if there's like one thing which is really basing your decision one way or the other, let me know and I'll try and help you. But if I was to buy one, I'd probably go with the Sony one, honestly. Okay, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps. I can ramble and make a really long video going down even more features of this, but I wanted to keep this video relatively short, you know, and to the point. So again, I would go with the Sony one in conclusion, but they're both really good. And if money's more the issue, you're going to have a lot of enjoyment and a lot of fun out of the Ritzu player. You really can't go wrong either way, but if I was just buying one, I buy the Sony, okay? All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Click the link down below to buy either the Sony or the Ritsu, okay? And this might be sold out. Maybe if this is sold out, consider buying this. It actually is a really nice player. And I will have some more comparisons to other players down the road. And if you have particular things you want talked on more in detail in future videos, let me know in the comments below too, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.